Last week, a couple of German tourists were caught brewing coffee at the foot of the Rialto Bridge in Venice. Not only were they fined a staggering 950 euros, but they were ordered to leave the city. I suppose you have to have some sympathy with Venice, which has way more tourists than it can really cope with to the detriment of the local population. But even so, 950 euros and banishment? That's harsh. But for this channel, it raises the question of what is inappropriate behaviour for visitors to Germany? What should you not do as a tourist? Now, most of these things I've probably mentioned before, but it won't do any harm to repeat them. The first and most obvious thing is this. No Third Reich jokes. I mean, this ought to go without saying, but it is amazing how many people seem to think that it's funny to goose-step down the main street giving the Nazi salute and singing Deutschland, Deutschland über alles. That's not to say the Germans can't make jokes about Hitler, but there is a very fine line between criticising the Nazi regime and implying that modern Germans are all Nazis. Doing the Nazi salute can result in an uncomfortable chat with the local police, or possibly a fine. When you're in Germany, German law applies, and that means, among other things, no cannabis, possession of which is illegal. In most states, if you're caught with a small enough amount, they may drop the charges, but not in Bavaria. You're especially at risk if you're young and driving in from the Netherlands. In Germany, uniformed police have the power to randomly stop cars and check to make sure that the vehicle is roadworthy and the driver fit to drive. Sometimes they will also try to find an excuse to search you for drugs. Regarding clothes, don't worry too much about blending in with the locals. You won't, but that doesn't matter. Just wear something practical and appropriate for the weather, even if your wardrobe does scream TOURIST. Definitely don't assume that you'll blend in if you wear dindles or lederhosen. That type of dress is only really traditional in rural areas of southern Bavaria, and even there it's not what people normally wear it will just make it look as if you got lost on the way to the fancy dress party. Don't complain when things aren't the same as they are back home. It's fine to remark on the differences, but to complain about the way Germans do things is just insulting. Remember, you are a guest, and nobody likes a guest who constantly criticises the host. In particular, please don't complain about paying in cash, no air conditioning in your Airbnb apartment, signs being in German, and the lack of free refills. This is a tricky one, because sometimes you do have legitimate grounds for complaint, and then you should complain. But usually the difference will be obvious. Not enough ice in your drink? That is a cultural thing. Just politely ask for more if you really can't do without it. Hotel gives you dirty bed linen? Yeah, that is something you should complain about. The Autobahn is not a racetrack. Large sections of it even have speed limits, but even where there is no speed limit, you can still get a ticket for reckless driving if your speed is too high for you to safely control the vehicle. And if you do get up to a spectacularly high speed, don't get out your phone so that you can Instagram the photographic proof. There is a 100 euro fine for operating any handheld device while driving, and it is also extraordinarily dangerous. If you visit a church, be respectful. It's not just a tourist attraction, it is a place of worship and prayer. Keep the noise down, switch your phone to silent, and try not to disturb people. If a service is in progress, don't go in unless you really do want to attend the service. So, enjoy your stay, but remember that you are a guest. I don't know of any place in Germany that is as draconian as Venice, but still, don't think you can break the law and don't be a jerk. And then, you should be fine. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to send me a postcard, here's the address. And don't forget to visit my website and follow me on Twitter and Facebook. 
Also, if you'd like access to special bonus content and help with the costs of running this channel, please consider making a small monthly donation on Patreon.